guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing um, an unboxing of Zape I have never ordered from them before so this will be like a first impression so I just undid the box that's it I haven't um, actually unboxed anything yet so let's see if it'll stay open like that and the candle I have burning over here is um, blueberry maple pancakes from Bath and Body Works so that one's one of my favorite ones Okay, so it has a cute little sticker on top that says thank you. I'll try and do this the best I can. Okay, looks like there's a lot of little wormies in here. Oh, that's cute. It says, oh, hey gorgeous. Experience happiness through scent. And it says, Angela, thank you. Um, you are amazing for supporting small business. We love to see you enjoying your products, so don't forget to tag us at Zape Bath with a picture of you and your new goodies. Love the Zape team. And their website's there on the bottom as well. So, super cute. Okay, sorry for the interruption. I accidentally stopped the first part of the video, so hopefully I can just link them together. Um, alright, so here we go. Let's dive on in. I don't really recall what I got. <laughs> so let's see. I don't see an invoice on top. If there is one, I'll let you know what some of the prices were. Okay, so the first thing I have is this cute snowman in Bad Santa. Fireplace, embers, Christmas trees, and cinnamon sticks. Hmm. I definitely get a little hint of cinnamon. Well, it's actually not a little. It's quite prominent. I do get a fireside kind of note. It smells pretty, it smells a little bit sweet though. I think it's like a sugary cinnamon, but like a red hot kind of cinnamon. Mmm, that smells good. I'm not really getting Christmas trees out of it though, so. We shall see. I think I'm going to move this box off to the side and then I'll just grab from it. Um, that way we have more space. So I'm going to put this over right here. And I'm going to move my candle so it doesn't catch anything on fire over here. Okay. That's better. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to pull out of this bag is some really cute little waffles and I guess it's a pack of three that's really nice um, this is elves who brunch buttermilk pancakes maple syrup buttery toast eggs and bacon <laughs> okay I was feeling wild with this one whoa I'm definitely getting some type of butteriness And some maple syrup, just a little bit. It's not like overly bacony, but it does kind of smell like when you walk into a diner. Also, guys, this wax is really cold right now because I just picked it up off the porch, and it's um below 40 degrees right now, raining. Um, so it might need time to kind of warm up too. So some notes might come out when I sniff them again later. Okay, I got these cute Christmas trees. In Christmas Eve, which is crackling fire, fir balsam, and toasted marshmallows. Mmm, yeah, I definitely get, well, the Christmas tree fir, it says fir and balsam. Are those separate trees I always thought? Oh, I don't know, I don't know what I think. Mm, yeah, definitely that, and I do get a sweetness from the toasted marshmallow, and a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, of a smokiness from the crackling fire. Mmm, that one's really nice. That one's really pretty. Um, we stand up, and we'll see how long he lasts there. Okay, some more beautiful Christmas trees in Trim the Tree, which is Fresh Fallen Snow, Christmas Pines, and Buttery Popcorn Garland. Sorry if it's not focusing, guys. I don't know why I have so much trouble. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. That buttery popcorn note is good. It's not like weird or sickly at all. 
Yeah, that pine tree is really pretty also. And you get some type of like freshness, maybe like some type of citrus in the background. <coughs> Excuse me. It really helps brighten that up. Sorry if you can hear, once again, my dog's chewing on her antler, so um, she's kind of loud. <laughs> we also have these beautiful, big, thick stars in Tinseltown, which is sweet caramel cider and fir tree lined streets. Mmm. Oh, yeah, you definitely get that caramel note. Mmm, it smells like, yeah, like a caramely cider. Mmm, that's good. I'm not really picking up on the fur, but that one's really delicious. Wow, <laughs> I really like that one. I'm glad I got that one. Okay, up next is this cute snowflake. In Baby It's Cold Outside, which is fresh snow and peppermint. I definitely, I get the peppermint. It's pretty soft. I'm not sure what fresh snow is supposed to smell like. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a woody note. Nothing super heavy though. Um, it smells really good. I just can't quite pick up what that note is. <clears throat> Sorry, man, my throat is all of a sudden really bothering me, so I might have to take a minute here. I think, oh yeah, this is a sample. It was at the bottom. Um, in Night Before Christmas, I don't know what the notes are on that, but it's a like a black or gray wax. <clears throat> Maybe I smelt something that my throat didn't like. Mmm, <laughs> this one smells kind of powdery. In a slightly like clean masculine, little bit masculine kind of scent. I don't think I got that one in my box. Okay, another beautiful snowflake. This one's like hot pink and lime green. In <clears throat> can't really read it, but it says cotton headed ninny muggins, apple cider donuts, vanilla cookies, spiced cranberry, and orange peel. And I love this tissue paper that they included. I'm getting spiced cranberry with a hint of citrus, but it kind of smells like, kind of like a little bit like wine. There is the apple cider donut in there, which I think is lending a little bit yeasty. But it's not overly <clears throat> bakery. I would say it smells more kind of like a drink to me. Okay, try not to get the worms everywhere. Let's see what's on this side. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a pie slice and it has cute little buttons on the top. This is in Mrs. Claus's kitchen. Gingerbread, chestnuts, and mold cider. Mm, I hope this one smells good. I like gingerbread. It just has to be a specific blend that I guess. Oh, wow. Huh. This is really nice. It's, um, the gingerbread's not like super, super spicy. I mean, there is a little bit of spice in there. I think it's being rounded out by that chestnut. It's giving it like a real nice, um, nutty complex kind of scent and the cider does give it kind of like an um uh, it kind of brightens it up a little bit wow it's not overly spicy though it smells like um almost like molasses a little bit um from the gingerbread i really enjoy that one i'm glad i got such a big um <clears throat> shape in it <laughs> Okay, uh-oh, the worms are trying to escape. Come back in. Okay, um, I got this cute little um, heart tart, I guess I would call it, and it has like little hearts inside. <clears throat> this is in Grinch Cookies, which is sugar cookies, peppermint candy, and Whoville Cheer, which I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a drink? Oh, yeah, sugar cookie for sure. Maybe like sprinkled with like some crushed candy cane on top. 
Hmm, nice and sweet. <clears throat> I don't know what Whoville cheer is, and I don't know if I'm exactly picking up on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, gosh. I know that's super annoying. Okay, and I think I still have one more thing in here. Yeah. I got Noel in this, um, kind of like a soap-sized bar. It looks like a little, um, light bulb and a gingerbread man in there. And it is <clears throat> Noel sugar spruce, molasses cookies, ooh, vanilla cookies, and fern balsam. I didn't even know they, sh they had a molasses cookie, so. Oh. Wow, that is so pretty. I love sugared spruce. Mmm. We should should we take this one out? I know it's like probably really hard to get them back in. I haven't really felt the wax either. So I'm not sure how soft it is. Um, there we go. That's what that wax looks like. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm picking up on that sugared spruce. There's definitely a cookie note, like a syrupy cookie note. Mmm, that one might be my favorite so far, actually, because sugared spruce is, I don't know, that's like a whole nother love for me. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think this is the last one, but I'll do a double check. Um, another little bar with some holly berries on it, right? Okay, <laughs> Holly Days. Holly berries, woody Christmas greens, juicy apple, ripe ras raspberries, and sweet plum. Ooh. Mmm, yeah, like it smells like a bright kind of red berry. There's a little bit of um, greenness in there. Wouldn't necessarily call it a Christmas tree. There's something. I feel like I'm picking up on a little bit of um, <clears throat> cinnamon, but they didn't say that there's any cinnamon in there. The apple definitely is really well blended in there. It's not too prominent. Um, it smells really good. I think I'm mostly picking up the raspberries and the plum. Wow, that one's really pretty. That's a nice fresh scent. So, I think that's what I all I got. Let me just dig around in here and make sure I didn't miss anything. Probably gonna make a mess. Okay, and then make sure that all this stuff um, doesn't get ignited on the gas stove here. Okay. <clears throat> so that's all I got from Zape. Um, it seems like Maybe not as much as I thought it would be. I think my order total was around $75. So it doesn't seem like a whole lot of wax, um, just as far as like quantity, but they are quite heavy pieces. So, I mean, this one weighs a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, this, the ounces aren't on here, but um, these are all really like thick pieces of wax. So I'm sure I got my money's worth. And um, I'm really excited for these scents because these aren't um, traditional scents that I feel like I've seen everywhere that everybody's doing. So yeah, really good. Especially interested in how this bacon and egg scent is gonna come out on this smelt. So hopefully really good. I kinda wanna pop it in right now. <laughs> um, and, I'll, and for everybody who's wondering what's in my wax warmer, I did post it on my Instagram, but I have blueberry streusel from Simo. Um, in there right now so um, sorry for mentioning another vendor on my um, vendor specific but I know some people were wondering so okay guys um, that is all that I have from Zape so I'll give you guys an update as I start melting and let you know my thoughts hopefully I don't have to cure any of this because I'm in the holiday mood <laughs> as much as um, as most of you guys are. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today. I've been um, baking all morning for my mother-in-law's 60th birthday party. So um, I made cupcakes and a cake and I have to make um, a mocha buttercream here in a little bit. <clears throat> and then I have to make another buttercream for the cupcakes, so I'm going to figure out what that's going to be. So anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy Friday, and I hope you guys have a good weekend. Please stay safe. It's raining outside here, so um, the roads are a little bit slick. Um, 
All right. Well, I will catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment below if you um, have tried Zape or what your favorite wax is from them. All right. Bye.